Good day guys. Just want to show you how this uh, digital thermostat works. I bought it off eBay and I think I paid about $20 for it. It actually um, kicks in and out. You can set it for whatever temperature you, re you want the, the room temperature to be or even for maybe an incubator for chickens. Um, I've got currently set for 25 degrees. Um, I'll show you that's 25 degrees that I've set it for. That's the current uh, room temperature and I've set it for 1 degree uh, increment so if it drops down to 24 degrees it will kick in and at 25 degrees it will shut off. That's the main the maximum temperature I've got it set is 25 degrees. You can also have it for cooling uh, if you hook it up onto a little bar fridge, which is good, so it will maintain the right temperature with uh, either 1 degree or 0.1 increments. Um, this is a little heater I've hook, hooked up onto it. It's just a fan heater. And this unit actually works with 240 volts uh, input that just goes into the plug and it's, it's linked up into the unit and wired in between with the, with the fan it's got a little relay um, I don't know if you can see that but um, you can find it on eBay it's called a digital thermo uh, thermostat and then I've got this um, little gadget here that just shows the room temperature uh, the inside temperature and that's the outside temperature and I'll show you guys when it kicks in. It's currently set at 25 degrees maximum. It will kick in on about 24 degrees. I actually use it just for um, maintaining the room temperature for my, my brew. So when I do my uh, brew, home brew for making beer or any spirits you can uh, actually maintain the right temperature or a little bit warmer especially in winter time when it gets to about 15 degrees at inside a house uh, it's good it's a good thing to use this thermo uh, digital thermostat this is going to open a door up for a little while just so that the room temperature can drop down to about 24 degrees and I'll just show you how it works it's also got a little sensor here. This uh, little sensor is actually also hooked up just on the, on the, on the back side of this uh, thermostat. And as you can see, it works with 240 volts. It's got two relays built into it. One is for cooling, the other one's for heating. And all you need to do is just basically split the negative wire and link, link it up with a negative relay or the heating relay so you just split the, the negative wire and like put it in between it just acts like a switch so there the temperature is dropping now to 24.3 degrees this thing is also very very accurate it just maintains the heat. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. It's 24.1. Another point one degree then it should kick in. And it should kick off at 25 degrees. I've been running some tests at a different degrees, that's why the degrees on the thermometer is a little bit different. They're yeah, just kicking now and it shows that it's it's heating up. So that's set on 24. It kicks in on 24 degrees. Just gonna shut the door again. And it shouldn't take too long, it takes a couple of seconds just to heat up the room to 25 degrees. 
and then it kicks off again you can probably hear the fan blow if you touch the sprout with your fingers it, it will go up quicker because your body temperature is higher so yeah I've just touched it with my fingers and Yeah, 25 degrees and just switched off. Thanks for watching. Cheers.